Okay, so this will show up on your AP Calculus AB exam um, in, in lots of ways, but I'm assuming that this would actually show up as a graph, and they would ask you to find these four values, or they might actually let you use your calculator. So let's try this. So use your graph, uh, use a graph to determine the following limits. F of x is equal to uh, x over x squared minus 1, and we're asked to find these four limits. You might want to stop the video for a second and write down these four limits, and then we're going to go to our calculator and, and determine these limits graphically. I get that you can figure them out numerically, and I get that you can figure them out using your calculator. You can also uh, use some uh, tricks that you may have uh, gotten from another video I did, but here let's just do this graphically. So I'm on a, uh, a TI Inspire CAS. This happens to be a CX. Uh, so here are the keystrokes. So control division sets this up, and it's going to be X. I'm going to hit down x squared yeah minus one hit enter so here's our here's our graph so let's see if we can make some sense of that so let's now uh, let's look at this so the first thing that we were asked to do right the first thing we were asked to do is find the limit oops let me change colors here find the limit of f of x right as x approaches 1 from values greater than if the plus sign was on the other side it would mean positive 1 but this means from values greater than 1 so here's this x value and so what we're what we're saying here is we're going to make our approach from values greater so values greater so I'm going to start somewhere near 1 but maybe like maybe 2 and I'm going to start to approach 1 we can see that as we get closer and closer to 1 right this is a vertical asymptote to this function right we go towards infinity don't we so here equals infinity all right so what do we do we we knew we were going to go to one here and we we're going to start this notation here it says from values greater than one so we started values greater and we started go, staying on the curve and we were forced up towards infinity infinity is up here isn't it all right however what would happen if we did it the other way what if we we're asked to find this limit. So we're asked to find a, it seems like a similar limit. So f of x as x approaches 1 again, but this time from values less than 1. So we're going to approach 1. We're going to be moving towards 1 from values less than 1. So we've got to stay on our graph. So what happens as we approach 1? We go to negative infinity, don't we? So here is equal to negative infinity. See what's happening here? This is called, a, these are called one-sided limits, and we're approaching just from one side because if we look for this limit itself, it, the limit doesn't exist, right? Because as we approach from both sides, we're going in opposite directions. But if we just approach from one side, in the first case, we're approaching from values greater than. In the second example, we're approaching from values, right? From values less than, we end up at different places. All right, so let's look at the next thing that we were asked to do. And we were asked to find the limit of f of x, yeah, as x approaches negative 1 from values greater than 1. So this is a negative sign here. This is an indicator of which direction we're approaching them from, and we're approaching from values greater than. So here's negative 1 here, and we're approaching from values greater than. Values greater than include values like, I don't know, 0. So, so we're going to approach, oh look, we're going to approach this way, aren't we? So we're going to be approaching from here. right and that takes us to infinity again doesn't it right because zero is greater than negative one so we're approaching here so is equal to right is equal to infinity isn't it the last case that we're asked to evaluate is this one and we're asked to determine or to evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity from values less i'm sorry that's not true we're asked to evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from values less than negative 1. So here's the value we're going to be approaching. Here's maybe negative 2. So as we start to make that approach towards negative 1, we end up down going plunging towards negative infinity, don't we? So this answer is negative infinity. So if you're given a graph to work from, this is how I would do that, how I would demonstrate that. So the kind of the key things that I want you to keep in mind today 
or when this tells us what number we're approaching, this this thing on the left, on, excuse me, on the right hand side is telling us what side we're approaching from. This means from values greater. This means from values less than, right? And that should help us to know which way we're moving towards our x value, all right? Okay, let's go to work.